Video editing takes a lot of time. In this video, I'm going to show you a simple way to cut time by using the free software Oli to remove silent parts of a video. This method could be used on both Windows, Mac and Linux and is recommended before editing in software such as Adobe Premiere, Final Cut Pro or DaVinci Resolve. To start by going to olivevideoeditor.org and get Olive. And as you can see, you have three different versions for Windows, Mac and Linux. And it's this Olive 0.1 that is uh, including this silence removal. For my sake, I'm using Windows and I'm not going to install it. Just uh, download a portable folder. And as soon as this has been downloaded, I could extract it. And I've extracted it to the desktop right here. So I go into this folder and down to Olive Editor to start Olive, okay? And then I drag some footage. So I have here one file for my intro for this video. I'm dragging this down into the timeline right here. Okay? Yes, like this. And then I pull this up a little bit to be able to expand on the soundtrack. And as you can see, this is the waveform from the sound and silence removal works like this. So it looks for a threshold value in percent and I'm not sure whether it's percent or the full range from here to here or it, if it's the full range of the audio throughout the video. But I think it's the full range. So it looks for a certain threshold. So if the waveform or the sound is higher than the threshold, it will cut from there and it will stop cutting when it's reached the threshold that it's lower than. So only start looking for a level that is above the threshold level, both from the start and the finish. And this can be adjusted and how many frames it should cut before this threshold is also set. Same thing goes with the after threshold. So let's try it. So I could right click here and bring up the autocut silence too. And this only works for version 0.1. When I start this, as you can see, you have four different uh, uh, settings, attack threshold, attack time, release threshold and release time. And the attack threshold and uh, the release threshold is the value that the signal should rise above or sink below. And the attack time, release time is how many frames it should be cut before or after these thresholds. So the starting values are quite good, I, uh, I think. So I've uh, experienced that for my uh, speech, I need a little bit more attack time. So put this to five and I increase the release time to 10. This you have to experiment a little bit with for your type of speech. So this value, the attack threshold, I need it to be a little bit uh, higher than just one or two. And uh, similarly, the release threshold is nice to put quite low in order for the signal to sink below a certain level. I try this now. Let's see if it's working fine. Yeah, here's to be working fine. So as you can see, it separated out the parts that contains the speech and the parts without speech. So after you've uh, run the tool, you could press Ctrl Shift A to deselect everything. And then you could mark off the sections. Let me see if this is working. If you shift click uh, these silent parts and then you press Shift Delete, it should ripple delete, but it's not working. So I just Ctrl Set back to the original then mark off one at a time, shift delete, ripple, uh, ripple delete, ripple delete, and I can go on like this for all the silent parts till I'm uh, pleased with the results. Okay. Just move this roughly, then I could uh, do the play header here and just listen to it, space, do the use the forward backward AKL and when I'm uh, fine with the result I could just press file export and then export and I just put it here on the desktop this paste the old one and then I could uh, export the file there you have it a simple and free way to remove silence from videos with Olive